off my face. I don't think. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Now I am alone. Oh, what a rogue and peasant slave am I? Is it not monstrous that this player here, but in a fiction, in a dream of passion, could force his soul so to his own conceit that from her working all his visage waned? Tears in his eyes, distraction in his aspect, a broken voice, and his whole function suiting with forms to his conceit. And all for nothing, for Hecuba. What's Hecuba to him? Or he to Hecuba, that he should weep for her? What would he do had he the motive and the cue for passion that I have? He would drown the stage with tears, cleave the general ear with horrid speech, make mad the guilty and appall the free, confound the ignorant, and amaze indeed the very faculties of eyes and ears. <clears throat> and I, a dull and muddy metal rascal, peak like John of Dreams, and can say nothing. No, not for a king, upon whose dear life and property a damn and defeat was made. Am I a coward who calls me villain, breaks my bat across, plucks off my beard and blows it in my face? Tweaks me by the nose and gives me the lie, the throat, who does me this? Ah, swoons. I should take it. For it cannot be. But I am pigeon livered and lack all to make oppression bitter. Or this, I should have fattened all the region kites with his slaves of fall. Bloody body villain, remorseless, treacherous, lecherous, kindless villain. Oh, what an ass am I. <laughs> this is most brave, but I, the son of a dear father murdered, prompted to my revenge by heaven and hell must fall like a whore and unpack my heart with words and fall a cursing like a very drab Ascolian. Far upon it, far above my brain. I have heard that guilty creatures sitting at a play have by the very cunning of the scene been struck so to the soul that presently they have proclaimed their malfactions for murder Though it have no tongue, will speak with most miraculous organ. I'll have these players play something like the murder of my father before mine uncle. I'll observe his looks, I'll tend him to the quick. If he but blench, I know my course. The spirit that I have seen may be the devil. And the devil hath power to assume a pleasing shape, yea. And perhaps out of my weakness and my melancholy, as he is very potent to do with such spirits, abuses me to damn me. I'll have grounds more relative than this. The place, the thing, wherein I'll catch the 
the conscience of the king. Take that, Bollywood. <laughs>